So great. Um, what I think is, uh, has happened in the past is that anyone that says that home ownership might not be a great investment will, will be hissed at, right? So <laughs> Yeah, they will. <laughs> I, I, I mentioned that to Greg, and he about, uh, he about knocked the webcam off of his computer trying to get at me. <laughs> All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tread lightly then because I don't want to get anyone upset at me. Um, but if, if you look at it, it over the last 100 years, um, homes have appreciated at between 0.3% and 0.7% greater than inflation, right? Now, that's assuming that the government <laughs> is... Assumption. Well, the, assuming that the government is not uh, misleading us about inflation, which I, I believe that they are, and I think many people believe it. The government yeah. mislead us? No. <laughs> say it's not true. I, I don't oh, believe that no. for a second. Yeah. So There's weird. no way they would ever fudge numbers that would make them look better. <laughs> so, so the point is, so whether it's 0.3 or 0.7 or 1% uh, on average over the last 100 years above the rate of inflation, that's not a great investment, especially if you take into consideration the operational costs of the house. So you have transaction costs when you buy or sell. You have the maintenance costs of owning the property. Um, and you have um, the real estate tax. So when you factor those things in, it really makes the real rate of return on owning a home on average negative. Now, of course, if you buy at the bottom of a cycle and sell at the top of the cycle, you, it can be a great investment. So it, it runs the gamut. But I think it's important to be truthful with the client so they understand and they can make decisions. They're going to do what they're going to do. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's important if people understood that it's not a great in financial investment, maybe they're not going to buy a $750,000 house. Maybe they'll just buy what they need for their family and buy a five hundred dollars or a $550,000 house and not put themselves in, in um, a financial situation where they might not, if... If, say for a rainy day, if you will.